Hi, I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be repotting my Philodendron Majesty and if you haven't been following me on Instagram, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a video before, but I have recently got a mature specimen. I've pretty much been rooting her for a while now, so she's definitely ready for potting. But I've also been too lazy to kind of make her a moss pole and since she's going out into my family room, I wanted a more natural kind of looking pole. So I've been wanting to use sheet moss, but I honestly haven't felt like ordering or going out to get the PVC pipe or any of that. So <laughs> the other week I was in a Facebook group and I came across this girl named Victoria who in this thread of people talking about the moss poles they were selling, she had listed hers and they were honestly perfect. So I was really excited. I just kind of wanted to get this over with. I needed two of them, one for my dark lord, one for my majesty. But this is Victoria's moss pole over here. So if you look at it, it's awesome. So it has such a natural and just kind of forced feel to it. There was a second one here, but I already opened it up because I got impatient last night. But I'm so, so happy with it. And you can choose whether you want bamboo or PVC. I just chose PVC and honestly, it's awesome. And it's gonna look so good in my family room. So Dark Lord already has his. I'll show you a video of him right now. He looks really great with it. I've been wanting to put him on a pole for a while because his leaves have started to get, kind of revert to a smaller size. So I knew it was important to give him something to climb. And honestly, I just had a placeholder there. So the last two weeks he did have something propping him up because I did repot him recently. And he did already start shooting out aerial roots to attach to it. So I was really impressed with that. And I just know he's gonna love this one so much more because I can finally give them that moisture. <laughs> but honestly, the pole just looks seamless. Like, I'm so happy with it. Definitely A plus for Victoria. You, you can find her on Instagram at My Mini Jungle. These are super awesome poles. So if you're interested in them, please go check out her page. They're amazing. She is super sweet and I'm completely in love with them. And I'm super happy to finally have something really nice aesthetically to display in my family room. The normal moss poles I, I make, I do really love them, but honestly, they're not something I want out in my family room. I have an aesthetic that I like and this suits it very well. Also, you may occasionally see me sipping this wine. And that is because after this video, I'm gonna be recording my Never Have I Ever Planty Edition video. And I thought it would be great if I was already a little tipsy when it started. I've seen pretty much all of them. And I thought that would've been super fun to see people already on the tipsy side before the video began. So I'll definitely be drinking during the video, but I definitely want <laughs> to drink a bit before as well, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. I'm also in like, not a big drinker. I think like the last time I drank anything was that night I went out with someone for my Botanica R Us unboxing. And that may have been like definitely before this year. <laughs> but let me just show you my majesty really quickly. I'm really excited about her. She's a little dusty right now. So once she's potted up, I'm definitely gonna do a really, really nice shot of her with her pole. Honestly, she's freaking incredible. Like I know most Majesties you see are just so much smaller and I feel so lucky that I came across someone selling this one at this size. She did give me grief for a while because she took forever to root. She had one more leaf, but I had to take it off because she just couldn't support it. Like she's barely, it's definitely a lot to root a plant with this many leaves. Like you certainly don't want to. I knew that when I got it, but I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> I mean, look at her, like, she's definitely gonna be a good compliment for like the other side of my Dark Lord. I'm absolutely in love. And this is the pot I'm gonna be using. So these are the Fire Clay Pots by Terrain. I will link the website in the description. I am currently so obsessed with these pots. So <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going with. I couldn't be happier with them. Also, if you wait for them to have a sale, you can get them sometimes at 20% off and they're already like pretty good price. So yeah, fire clay pots. <laughs> and if you actually wanted to get rid of some of this like mud, like this part, this whole light part is actual mud. So if you wanted to make this pot a bit darker, you could scrub it. I have done that for some of them just to give the pot a darker look. Just looks so good. And I've already pre-mixed her soil. This is honestly just like half perlite, half soil. This is like something I use mostly for my philodendrons and monsteras. 
I pretty much just go all out for my Ethereum mix, but everyone else pretty much gets stuck with this and they love it. I don't have any problems with it. Mm. Sorry, I'm like not a big dry wine. I'm not a big wine drinker. And the only wine I do like is like Roscato and it has like 7% alcohol or something. And the wine I have here, it's Balak wine. It's like a winery in Jersey that I got. And it's 12%, so I'm making myself drink it just so I can get on a little bit more of a tipsy side. Yeah. I don't want to be stupid in the video, but I also want to be kind of funny, you know? And I feel like it does good at letting my inhibitions down. So... So she's all padded up. I'm now going to put her in her spot and that way you can see her in her new little habitat and in her all her glory. She looks, in my opinion, so gorgeous. I love the pot. I am absolutely obsessed with the moss pole and I'm very happy with it. It's something I'd be proud to display in my living area. And I'm absolutely excited to see just her climb and grow and I feel like this growing season is just going to be really wonderful and I'm so excited for it.
So the last thing I really want to kind of figure out is their plant stands because I want them to match and then this area is going to be completely perfect. I'm so happy with it. So again, please check out Victoria at My Mini Jungle. I think her moss holes are fantastic. And if you're interested in something like this as well, feel free to contact her. And Victoria, thank you so much for these polls. They are amazing. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.